Hi, my name is Mikael Verhoef and I am one of the Mendix experts working at Time Series. This is another episode of Ask the Expert and today we're talking about security in Mendix. Today we'll be answering your questions about security in the Mendix platform. The Mendix platform out of the box comes with a lot of security features and certifications. This enables you as a Mendix developer to spend less time on developing security measures. However, since the platform allows you to create custom tailor-made software, this requires you as a Mendix developer to know some of the security risks of the platform, which will bring us to our first question of today. So the first question is, what basic security steps should I take in my application? So every Mendix application should have a certain level of security implemented. In our opinion, you should follow the following basic steps. The first one is to set up your entity access properly. This will cover up to 90% of all security issues that might occur in your application. So we really cannot stress enough how important it is to properly set up entity access. Secondly, Mendix has its own mechanisms of authorization and authentication for all the users. You should really try to stick to these mechanisms that come out of the box with the Mendix platform. Of course, you can add single sign-on or your own other identity provider to it, but stick to the authentication mechanisms in the Mendix platform and use the system.user entity for uh, administrating your user accounts. As a third rule, make sure that all the user roles you create reflect to the user roles in real life. Do not use CRUD user roles, which means create, read, update or delete. This will give you a lot of issues when developing new features. And lastly, do not build custom runtime configurable role configurations. This will come at a huge financial cost initially, and it will also increase the cost of, of your application development during the development of your application. So this brings us to our second question. What security challenges do you see at your clients? Well, before we answer this question, it's good to understand that security comes at a cost, not only financial, but also in terms of maintainability, testability, development, architectural design, etc. Therefore, the level of security implemented in your application should always be weighed against the risks of not implementing them. So this is where it actually gets interesting. Since implementing proper security measures does not mean you should implement all possible security measures that you can think of. It's really about assessing the risk of not implementing it, discuss it with your client and then decide which risks you should take care of and which risks you should not. To be concrete on this, you should first follow the basic rules mentioned in the previous question. Secondly, after implementing these measures, there are just a few risks that might occur in your application. In order to determine the risk, you should try and answer the following questions. What custom widgets and custom modules am I using and what risks will they bring into my application? Secondly, should I take measures against non-user interface security risks? And lastly, should one or more actions in my application be threat safe to make sure the data never gets corrupted? The severity of all these risks basically comes down to what data is kept in the application and if all users can be trusted or not. What are the consequences if one of the risks gets exploited, etc. So our next question, what do you specifically pay attention to regarding security? Well, as discussed in the previous question, risk assessment is everything you need to do if you are talking and thinking about implementing security in your Mendix application. So what I pay attention to really differs on the type of users and the type of application that I'm developing. So if you're developing a banking system, for instance, security should be your utmost priority. But when you make an application for lease car administration and the only users that use the application are the ones administering the lease cars in your company, then your users are trusted and security will be less important. So our next question is, I've read that Time Series offers security workshops. What does it look like? And is it a tailor-made program or is it based on a fixed set of subjects? During our security workshop, we will address the different types of risks in the platform. 
we will try to make sure you fully understand how entity access rules should be set up and we take time to discuss the risks of custom widgets and custom modules. Next to that, we will try to help you understand how to assess the risks and make the right decisions on your own. From our experience, the best and most fun way to do this is by getting hands-on experience. We have developed several cases where you will receive an application with some security flaws in it. And next, we will guide you in hacking these applications, which will make you fully understand the risks of the platform. This workshop is developed by our own Mendix expert developers, and it can be tailor-made on your request. You can either ask us to cover specific topics, or we can assess your applications and make sure that we cover all topics needed for your application landscape. So this is one more question about the workshop. What is the added value of the workshop and what are the deliverables? Well, the biggest added value from the workshop is that your developers will get hands-on experience with the security risks in the Mendix platform. The developers work on very recognizable cases to make them quickly understand how big of a risk a small development error can be. The slides of the workshop, as well as the applications used in it, will be shared with the attendees as future reference. And our final question is, after finishing the workshop, can we proceed on our own or do we need the help of time series to get certain things in place? This really depends on the applications that you have running and the risks in them. If you have risks in the architecture of your application, then probably it's better to either ask us to assess it or to solve it. If you have smaller security risks, you can easily fix it on your own after attending the workshop. The nice thing here is that after attending the workshop, you will be ready to assess security risks on your own. So you won't need us to assess the risk, but you might need us to solve it if it's really severe. If you want to know more about time series and how we can help you, or if you're interested in our workshops, send us an email at info at timeseries.com or contact us through LinkedIn.